Welcome to the inner party. And by welcome, I mean you're welcome to look around. It's my party. Get your own. With Chairman Gendy Zuganov, the leader of our brand new Mighty Shiny Nation. So there are a couple of comments worth mentioning before we start trying to get to Feudal as soon as possible. The first one is uh, somebody asked if the new KGB that formed yesterday are a mercenary man or a holy order, I should say. They are, but they are kind of prohibitively expensive right now. 16.77 gold. The only way we can really make those guys work is if we vassalize them at some stage, which to be honest, shouldn't be too difficult if we are, of course, a... Um, the, the same culture, same religion, and uh, a, a decently large realm as well. And we're head of religion too. So we have a little bit of extra sway in that regard. So that is pretty nice. The other thing, someone said, before we convert to feudal, make sure we spam out tribal holdings everywhere. That's actually not a terrible idea at all. Um, so for a lot of them, like for example, these, we can't build anything there at all. But I believe in both Stalingrad and Moscow, we should be able to drop a tribal holding. Yeah, because we don't already have tribal holdings there. So any of these ones that are in red, those we can throw down a tribal holding there and then of course when we convert those will flip over to castles moscow already has uh three castle holdings and of course the capital as well which will flip over oh that's actually a city isn't it um so we could potentially get a total of five castles here which would be insane uh stalingrad would have got a total of there one two three four. we could get five in stalingrad too to be fair oh this is going to be massive if we pull this off and again stalingrad does have the the, 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 the fancy statue. And we could build four stages of that too, huh? Shit, that's really good. I feel like I kind of have to do that, don't I? Get the motherland cause in our capital. I, I, I feel like just Stalingrad has to be our capital despite how good Moscow is. Two big current goals right now. Number one, we have to establish good succession. Whether that is either Palmeni or, or Blinny here. Uh, both of which are quick. Both of which being educated by Vladimir, the head of the KGB. Uh, the, the, the KGB kind of society. The other guys in charge of the KBG for, for higher kind of the military side of things. But behind the scenes, it's really Vladimir over here pulling the strings. So he's in charge of uh, education. I'm not sure who would make the better son right now. He's got shrewd or potentially shrewd with curious and idolized of could become an erudite or zealous with both which are very, very good for a kind of pseudo religious playthrough, especially as we are the religious head right now. And then the other one, of course, is, uh, he was, what, like, rowdy? So better for a... Definitely better for a martial character. I'm not sure. The question is, are we going to live another 10 years? We're already 50, and we, we haven't exactly been pulling our punches here this campaign. Immediately becoming a religious head and forming a kind of unique duchy title here, too. I think... Let's go for... What do you think? Like, theology? Seems appropriate seeing as we're religious head. We also get the health. No, hunting, folks, is better of health, isn't it? If we get the hunting dog. Let's go hunting, then. Let's enjoy our retirement a little bit. We've got to kick around for another... What are we looking at here? Another four years before we can... Well, let's slightly less than that. Before we can flip over to Absolute. Then we can take Feudal. So I was told by the developer that if we go down the route of forming an oligarchic republic, we can't form the CCCP, uh, the USSR, but we can form the Russian Federation. So really, it's a choice of whether which one we go down. But of course, I feel like the, uh, the USSR is the right choice given the whole you know, Stalinism, uh, and, and whatever else we've got going on here. We're called the inner party for fuck's sake. I can't go for the Russian Federation. The only thing that's doing me a concern is Transnistria. Right on our borders, pretty huge. Uh, they haven't got that many troops, but I assume they're government type. Oh, wow, look at this. When they're reinforced, they're fucking huge, though, huh? Like 8,000 over 8,000 dudes. They're at war right now, which is why their levies are so small, and I assume why they've also hired some people there. Shit, they could be devastating when they get large. Different religion, different culture, right next to us. Kind of a, quite a sizable land border there, too. Maybe we should start heading north. I think our biggest target out of everything here is probably Pietagrad. Um, what the hell is going on up here? Are the Unseen Observers. Uh, folklorist. Belief system stretching back to, to the popular culture of the old Russia and Soyuz. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Russia, mo mother, mother Russia. <laughs> Can't even speak. Rod Svarog. Oh, that's cool. So they're kind of the Russian folk religion then. And then, of course, you've got Tsarist, and then you've got us Stalinists here. Wow. I think these guys are really the ones to watch out for, though. He's gone. Vladimir's gone. What happened to him? Died a natural death, and who's in charge now? It's Vladimir. <laughs> yeah, of course it would be. Um, Renian. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Okay. 
So he actually has a uh, a tribal holding, a temple holding. Uh, what is that? No, it's a city. Yeah, there you go. They've got their own. I guess it's kind of equivalent to the Yom's Vikings getting a castle, right? Oh, interesting. Okay, so we 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 could offer him vassalization eventually still, but that's um, but more of a pain in the ass. And it also means that we lost our good educator and our good spy master. That's a shame. Um, well, let's put. Oh, I guess you'll do fine. Okay, who are we gonna educate these kids with now? We could do it. We are quick. We are just. We are brave. Gregarious too. We are an all right educator. And I suppose it gives us a lot more fine control of their education. He can enjoy his retirement. He can hunt and he can educate his children. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Who are we educating right now? Kaganovich and Borscht. I'm going to get rid of both of them. You guys suck. So even if we are after a fresh air, the problem is our current son, Molotov, is pretty shit, isn't he? So we'd have to find a way to get rid of him if we can. Suspected coward, tireless worker, groomed to perfection. I've got to disagree. We could throw him to a mercenary company, hope he gets hired and dies. That would be pretty good. We could recruit him to the KGB. We can't kill him. Um, I could I could put him on like a vanguard somewhere. I could like put him in charge of the retinue and keep charging him into battle all the time. That could potentially work in our favor. Unfortunately, it's not quite as aggressive. Obviously, in CK3, when you put your son in charge of an army, they die within two seconds flat. Um, why can I not make you a commander here? What what is holding me back from that? I, I've forgotten how this game works. It's been so long here. Uh. Am I going mad? Why can't I not make you a commander? Molotov. Is it because he's frail? There you go. Point commander. Just had to fire someone first. All right. Well, let's see if this works then. Uh, Molotov. And then throw everybody. I mean, look, he's also got six marshals. So the chance of him dying is uh, far more significant. Let's make sure we're not leading troops like that. Uh, let's go ahead and take that away. Right. Get in there. Go see what you can do. Uh, the majority of the population of Moscow is converted to Stalinist. Oh, shit. That's pretty big. Okay, well, that should deal with any kind of potential uprisings that we don't want to be fucking dealing with right now. Uh, speaking of which, we had some problems down here with that, so we'll start work over there. Right, get those fucking raiders. If we kill them, hey, that's that's a nice bonus. Uh, if he dies as well, that's a double bonus. Where the hell have they gone? There they are. And uh, we're attacking. I mean, it's a weak attack, but we'll, we'll go for it. Come on, die. Die. Did he die? Shit, he's very much still alive. Hey, there we are. We, the ever faithful KGB, have expanded our influence yet again, seizing another castle, this time in eastern Germany. Hey, nice. And die. Did, did, did it, did he get wounded? Fuck. Oh, God, what the hell am I going to do with him? I still think maybe the mercenary company is the right choice then. The Stalingrad Band. Can I rename that? Because that's fucking just terrible. Alternatively, we could flip over to elective Gavokan, but that sounds terrible. Has reigned for 10 years, and that's reigning the, the primary title. Um, so the chance of us pulling that one off is going to be very, very tricky. We'd have to live for another... Well, I mean, we'd have to live for another seven years, and we're not going to do that. Not in a hurry. Okay. Um, well, I don't know. I, 60 is doable if we do get the hunting dog. Oh, God, this is going to be tricky. How long have we got till we can flip that over? So that's basically a year now, and we can change the succession law over to maximum. At least get that in the bag. Oh, transistor is... Oh, it's going into rebellion, but it's not a significant one, unfortunately. Hey, there we are. Nice. A small puppy. I'm going to call you Little Faithful. Little, little faithful puppy. That should give us a good few more years, to be honest. Just from the dog alone, the extra plus one health should give us uh, quite a few years there. I mean, I'm going to worry. I, I think, to be honest, we'll still... Probably outlive the event as well. Come on, die. Hey, I mean, he is frail. Oh, it's not that significant, though, is it? Oh, fuck, he's on hunting focus. Balls. Did we offer him, like, a concubine with lover's pox? <laughs> ah, you know I gotta try it. Uh, lover's... Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Uh, Ligma? Right. And then sought by women who are willing to join my court. There's a lady. There she is. Uh, oh, wow, she's attractive and quick. So even, you know what? Even if the Ligma doesn't pay off, she might at least give him a good air. Arrange marriage between you, my son, and her. Yes, he will. Go. Right. So what's that? 0 0.25? Oh, there's no health penalty from that. Really? Shit. Oh, all my tribal holdings have just come in. So we've got a tribe in Moscow and a tribe in Stalingrad. Okay, that'll do. And then those will flip over with us when we go to uh, feudal in about two seconds flat. All right, let's do it then. I can't think of anything else we want to do. We might want to hire some... I mean, to be honest, I'm not even going to go for tribal retinues, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. The Hunts parts is really good. Let's throw in a few of those just because they are prestige cost. 
Flip over now to feudal. Should be able to do that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we can even found a kingdom. Oh, shit. Now, go feudalism first. Found a kingdom now. Look at that. We're now the kingdom of the inner party. SSR of the inner party. Wow, look at that. That's cool. Now we've got a bunch of fucking castles. <laughs> oh my god. Um, right, okay, let's talk about this then. So obviously I want to keep that one there. Uh, that became a city, which obviously we can't hold, so we'll throw you away. Um, we've got a temple, and we got a city there, which we can't hold, so get rid of you. Uh, same story, just everywhere. Wow, that went, that went very strangely. Oh no, we're orange? Well, that's ruined it. You're not supposed to be orange. Oh, that's not the right color for any of this. What succession laws do we have? It's going to be the same thing, isn't it? Yep, 10 years. Okay, fuck. Uh, I still can't do much to kill you off, can I? God damn, this sucks. I, I think we are going to end up playing as him. I think we're just going to have to accept that that's, uh, that's a thing we're going to have to live with now. Okay, so where are other holy sites then? So we've got one there. Again, they're a little bit too powerful, aren't they? What the hell's going on there? Jack, 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 Jacobinites. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's kind of cool. We can invite the KGB to build a hospital in our capital, which is all sorts of fucked up because we know for a fact that they are not. They're not going to be offering the, the finest medical treatments there, my friends. 300 loyalty. We get a hospital in Stalingrad, but they gain a castle in exchange, which I think is fairly reasonable. Uh, so he's got now, yeah, he's got the castle in... Stalingrad. And I'm alright with that. The KGB headquarters. That seems that seems fairly alright. Oh! Wojtek! Lately you have heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers that the wilds that in the wilds a strange mythical beast has been sighted. Send people out to find it. Kill that man. Joris, you're done for, my friend. Ooh, and a special tithe as well. Shit. Right, what buildings can we upgrade? Actually, what grades can we get in our training post? Because it might be good going for that first, just to ensure that we've got a nice stack of cash coming in. Oh, it's not massive. All right, uh, let's go for... We've already got Castle Town. I suppose we could give Castle Towns elsewhere. Yeah, let's go for those first. Let's focus on a good economy. Oh, no. The White Bear eluded us, and now he's wrathful. Wrathful and cruel. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, that's a good one. I, it's so rare to get the Hunter trait, because normally you've got other lifestyle traits kind of in the meantime, and of course, we were, we were on spying for a little while and didn't do a huge amount with it. Wow. Hunter. Hey, does that give any health bonuses? Uh, Pursuit, martial diplomacy. It's all right. It's not fantastic, but I'll take it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Tatiana. She's going to kill us. Oh. Bollocks. Oh, God. And he's taken Moscow. Oh, God. Exclaves, of course. Piss. We lost Moscow. Oh, that sucks. I can't even click it. In fact, I can't click anything. Uh. Oh. <laughs> ah, what the fuck was that about? He done it poor physique. Are you all fucking kidding me? We started playing as this big bitch and then he died. Oh, I'm so angry. Chairman Kaganovich. 15 years of age. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, we've gavel counted away a load of our shit. In fact, I can't click on anything still. Uh. Well, this is bizarre. I've not seen this before. Uh. All right. Let's give it a quick reboot. Ah, there we are. Good as new. Not sure entirely what happened. There was something to do with the exclave, I think. Uh. Made things a little bit bizarre. Now it's Commissar Igar of, uh, <laughs> Moscow. God damn. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, so who are we then? Oh my god, this kid's actually pretty fucking good. Oh, he's actually pretty fucking good. Okay, we can do some things with this. I hate the fact that it's chosen intrigue. I guess it'll probably come out okay. You know what? Shrewd, diligent, trusting. Trusting is obviously bad for a um an intrigue-based character, but he's not he's not awful. Uh Lud Miller, let's get you to educate him. 18 stewardship, smart and diligent. That's a nice combo for an educator. I wonder, when's he... Oh, my God, no. You can't give me three characters back to back. What, what is it? There's nothing here. Oh, fuck. I'm not pleased about this. Oh, he's good. Okay, it was just a bit of fatigue. It's probably the stress of having to take on a realm after both his brother and his father died. <laughs> All right. What have you got for me? Intricate web weaver. Fussy. 
gregarious, just... Oh, fuck off. We lost Shrewd because Dull became... Rowdy became Dull. So not only did we lose the plus two from Shrewd and everything, but we gained a minus two and everything from fucking... From Dull for a net minus four. You absolute shit. And he's gone mad. <laughs> oh no, is this the fall already of the party? Oh shit. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh fucking hell. Intricate Web Weaver with six intrigue. You can get... How has he only got six intrigue? Dull is minus two. Trusting and minus two. Honest is minus two. You big bitch. I hate you. This is the worst character I've ever seen in my entire life. Um... What do we go for? How do we how do we call this one back then, huh? Um Shit, I don't even know where to begin. I, I think we've gotta continue as if we were playing any other character. Let's go family focus. You absolute shit. Groom and air. You must do it for the dynasty, my friend. Alright, let's try and find a genius to balance out this guy's complete lack of genius. Uh search Oh, I don't even have my own mod enabled. I forgot I'd even made that. <laughs> Whoops, never mind. Well, genius is as high as it goes then. Uh, women, preferably unmarried, preferably not a ruler, preferably in diplo range. If they wanted to join the court, all the better. No, they're not. Well, we'll see what he can do about that. Um, save that filter as filter, filter two. All right. Uh, God, how old are we? 16. All right, let's see who we can find here. Anybody of, she's folklorist. That's something, I guess. Um, Looks at her offer from infidels. I assume that means... Okay. Can I just invite someone to court, perhaps? What about her? Grant her a council position. Invite with promises. No. False religion. Base reluctance. Fuck off. Um. Goodbye, favor. Forgot you could do that. Uh. It's doable. How much gold we got? Oh, 460 gold. Well, shit. Uh. I'd rather go for her, because she's also lustful. Um. She's lustful and grey eminence, which is another 10% fertility. Yeah, let's go for her. Yeah, all right. Send a gift. Buy a favor. Get her over here. There she is. Bye, Zah. Uh, let's go ahead and arrange marriage between us and her. To be fair, we could do that another three times. Uh, and call over... Oh, I should have taken the prestige there. Uh, call over a bunch of genius concubines. And just pray that the next generation is better than this one. Excuse me, I'm... Here to shop for ladies. Lots of ladies. Uh, send and by favor. That's another one down. And then her. Uh, send gift by favor. Done. Easy as that, my friends. I've got to invite one more, I know. But I'll, I'll chop around a little bit first. There we go. Invite to court. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wow. <laughs> really is that easy, huh? And who else we got here? Um, You'll do, but your brother... Yeah, so your brother is landed uh she is homosexual so at minus 15 rather not what about her oh she'll do oh her father is oh bollocks um we might have to go for her uh yeah i mean it's either that or we go the opposite way and end up with characters that are 45 all right fine bring her in uh send her a gift Come, uh, come, come over here. Of course, the first thing I'm doing when they arrive at my court is demanding that they convert to the one true religion here. Take concubine. There you go. Look at that. The, the dull idiot fucking fool of a man with it, surrounded by women ten times as smart as he is. The way all government should be. Look at this. What a fucking guy, huh? I have the empowered spouse mod, which is very much based on the Crusader Kings 3 system for... Having an extra council position for your significant other. Um, and that, that that we can increase with the spouse empowerment rule here. Um, so you can see that we focus on specific areas or focus on everything. We get higher bonuses still. Um, so we've only got the base level right now, which means we can get some of her stats applied to our own stats here. Um, two diplomacy, two martial, one stewardship. Three intrigue or a little bit of everything for one and everything. Uh, I think I'd like the plus one to everything in some ways. We go for the intrigue, try and round them out a little bit. Christ, I'm not sure that's, um... Yeah, thanks, plus three intrigue. I guess it's all right. I want to take all of our gold, and I want to turn Stalingrad into a mighty capital. I want to turn it into somewhere where all surrounding realms fear, and no to avoid. How do you make money in this game? Business focus, right? The base of the mints. 
<laughs> Talking them back to me. Um, we're not part of a society. We join the cold ones who believe in uh, Ch Ch Chernobog, the black god who gains power and wealth. Oh. Uh, we could join the KGB again. Society of the White Wolf. Legendary hero known as the White Wolf instructed Vedmarks during the event and had to throw away evil spirits to torment the world. It's that uh, Geraldo Riviera. And then we've got the White Army. Zaris. Never. Never, never going to ever associate with those people. I guess we go with KGB again. Sure, it's better than not having a society, and I feel like the cold ones aren't very proper. They're just devil worshippers, I assume. I knew was definitely a right move. I, I mean, we've got... I know they're light infantry. That was kind of the reason I didn't want to do it, is because we've got mostly light infantry there. We could have gone for this band instead, 200 light cavalry and 50 heavy, um, or, or obviously any mix here. Well, we've got Dru those Dru Drusina. Uh, those are very, very powerful, but... Given our retinue cap's only 584, because now we're feudal, uh, we, we, we're over triple our retinue cap, so it was definitely worth it doing that. We've got to be very careful, though, because obviously if they get destroyed, they won't rebuild. Well, now that the home affairs are in order, uh, all the four of them, why don't we take a trip to Nigeria? <laughs> Battle before the emperor. What, why can't we do that? Oh, we need 500 prestige. Bollocks. Um, can we have a feast? We can't have a feast quite yet. We can search for a smith. Uh, it needs to be November. I guess we'll just have a bunch of feasts or... How do you gain prestige in CK2? Uh, you just go to war. Baba Yagen, you are done for, my friend. God, look at his duchy level uh, kind of coat of arms there. Spooky. Uh, 496 men. Potential reinforcements of 200. Well, this should be an easy one. Uh, let's get him, boys. Holy War him. I feel like Holy War is a dangerous force vassalization, though, because it's a lot of land. I'd rather take something like... I'd rather take something like this, though. We obviously get one force vassalization. Um, Donbass is pretty good. I'm looking at their troop capacity because we're essentially going to gain that if we win. Yeah, I think Aurel is is better. All right. I, I would rather go for that one. And how many troops have we got in total? Oh, God, not enough. Oh, we're quiet for a moment, both seemingly contemplate these devoted souls. Then Vyacheslav looks at me, a curious intensity in his gaze. It's not an impossible, impossible wish, Kovanovich. Are you ready to kill? And if he wills it, get killed to defend the world of his prophet and rightful heir, Stalin. My wife is pregnant. Excellent work. Me, a KGB agent. But this perhaps is my destiny. Uh, yes, it's almost like your father was the fucking ruler of the inner party for many years. I suppose it wasn't always his destiny to take over. Funny how fate works. Really do be like that. God, if they make me murder my pogonant wife, I'm going to be very upset. She should rest. Oh, God. The stair ends and propagandist opens another door, revealing a gloomy basement room and a figure kneeling. Who is that? It's... Oh, it's my pregnant wife! Stalin or a genius baby? Stalin or a genius baby? I'm sorry, wife. As they say in Russia, Nyet. Oh, I assume. I don't know any Russian. <laughs> the blood is still gushing from the infidel's limp body as I kneel in front of the property. She, firstly, hang on, Stalinist for a start. Maybe she secretly was not very Stalinist. She was just lying to us to have our genius children. My life for Lord Stalin, praise the KGB. Fuck, what have we done? Fuck, what have we done? Fine, who's second best then? She's got 20 intrigue. I will be taking a slice of that pie, thank you. And pie is hopefully what we'll get, because we need a bloody heir. But now I need a new genius concubine to make up for the one that I lost. Oh, what about her? Uh, invite to court, buy favor. Hang on, let's go send her a gift. Buy a favor. Yeah, she's up for it now. And then invite to court. Her father was landed last time. That's why we couldn't invite her or something like that. Hey, there we go. Look at this. Oh, I forgot to demand conversion. Stalin first, concubine second. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Our holiday to Nigeria is not going to go so well. Uh, minus 20 prestige. Bollocks. <laughs> going to take quite a long time before we get back over there. That's what we... Side effects of obviously uh, remarrying there. Oh! Our brother died and we inherited back a title that we lost before. Very nice. In fact, I'd really like to inherit back everything. That sucks. What if you were to die? What if you, little brother, were to die? I feel like that would be very appropriate for the realm. Would benefit all the people of our mighty nation. My co-conspirator, Ludmilla, has bribed a hunter. Oh my god, look at how many people we've got on board. <laughs> oh, there's still more people willing to join. See, fucking hell, he was really not liked her. What's wrong with him? I guess it's more, just more the fact they like us. Kill him. Oh no! 
The fool hunter lost his nerve refused to kill him. What's worse, he told everybody about the conspiracy. Fly. Push him out the window. Quick. Oh, good. How tragic. He got back from a hunting trip where we were believed to have been a murderer. And then he was pushed out of a window before he could tell anyone. What a tragedy, huh? And more importantly, we've gained back another castle in Stalingrad. Now we just need this one. Uh, I don't even know who the fuck you are and why the fuck you've got my castle. But I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, he's a traitor. We could potentially fabricate treason. Let's just see if we can fabricate a death warrant first. Yep, that'll do it. That'll do it. Oh, that was fast. Ah, oh, my concubine has let me know he would die by poisoned wine. And he's gone. Holy shit. Well, we really consolidated power fast, didn't we? My god, maybe it is destiny. Oh, no. We're purging a lot of people. That's my concubine. You want me to burn my genius concubine? I can't lose another... No. No. This one... You're wrong. You are wrong. Oh, God, he didn't like that. I want to build up as much gold as possible so that when we force this vassalization, we can guarantee... Oh, my God, look at the revolt in Petergrad. <laughs> so that when the revolt goes through, we can... We can guarantee that we're going to succeed, right? Oh, wow, they grabbed... Oh, can I vassalize you? Great patriotic warfare. And, of course, we have uh, diplomatic claim... Uh, diplomatic ducal claims on everywhere. Um, anywhere in Russia, anyway. But a great holy war because we're ahead of the religion, right? I would rather use that against Peter Grad. Bear in mind, the target's kingdom level title. So let's vassalize you, and then we can just pick him apart with, uh, with ducal conquests. And I guess try and tidy up Baba Yaga after that. All right, this seems like a good idea. How many men has he got? 4,100. We've got 1,000 in retinue. We've got 4,200 overall, and I've specifically been stockpiling gold so we can try and knock this guy out. So let's do it. We can have our own... <laughs> our own band there, uh, led by... That's right, Vladimir. Garbage. Terrible. Would never even bother. Uh, who else have we got here in terms of mercenaries? Oh! Piss. I meant to click total strength. Well, welcome aboard, I guess. Let's go force vassal. Oh, we need a, thou a thousand prestige again. Fine. Go for these guys first, then. Just pick them apart. We just need to go and get some wars down, then, don't we? What religion are you? Folklorist. I think we could probably go for a holy war and get, get that done without them causing much trouble, right? Uh, religion tab? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all the folklore store are, are up there. I don't think they would be called in. Okay, so we'll go for you first. It's a single county, but I'm doing it for the prestige. We're going to get 50. We're trading 100 loyalty for 50 prestige. And we can get loyalty fairly easy by holding Stalin must every year, can't we? And on the plus side as well, this way we can avoid... Uh, oh, cool. They want us to convert a county. That's fine. Um, this way we can avoid having to pay for extra troops. Oh my god, they just paid for extra troops. Oh, al ally. Vassal. Vassal troops. Okay. We should be fine. Oh, uh, we're a feudal round. We're quite a sizable feudal round, too. Get in there. Kill them dead. There we are. They just marched right into our army. Knock it down. We're done. Okay, maybe not. Who? Adele, Adele. Hello. Thank you very much. Right. It's not much, but it's something. Let's just keep the Holy Wars up wherever we can. I'm going to drop the higher troops because they were they were not worth it, were they? Um, oh, man, I'd love to keep picking those guys apart. What about you down here? You're fairly weak as well. We can only Holy War, though. Oh, but we can Holy War for the whole fucking thing. That puts me with an even bigger board with Transnistria, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, and if we Holy War you, you're, you're Tsarist. You're Tsarist too, though, aren't you? So you'd be called in almost certainly, unless we're bloody fast. What is it? One, two, three, four counties. It would be nice to grab. I think we've got the money for it, too. Are they at war? Are they busy? They are busy. Okay, now's the time to do it if we are going to do it, then. Uh, let's go to Clare War, Holy War, can't. Why? Recent Holy War. When does that expire? Five years. Oh, God. No, no, no. He's going for our bloody holy site. Maybe we should go for Georgia instead. Just conquest where we can there. So the only Castabella we can use then is the uh, the reclamation. These ones here, the, the, the claim. Okay, uh, we might have to do that. Then that's all right. All right, let's focus on keeping keeping our holy site in Georgia before I get too carried away with expansionism. Bryce, they've got a lot of men. We need to hire like five thousand minimum. We can afford it, but I don't know if it's worth the invest. Oh God, yeah, let's go for you. You're actually not too terrible with regards to monthly cost. We've got to be quick, though. Gives us, like, ten months of them. Get down here. Get down here. Uh, how, how many troops are we looking at? 9,360. 
Is he our best commander? Really? Anton? Oh, God, he's not very good at all. If we attack into them, what are we looking at on mountains and a river crossing? Oh, God. Okay, start attacking their realm then. Fuck it. Just get some damage in. Revolt is now a realm. Oh, cool. Protracted revolt in Yugoslavia has ended in a stalemate, so they have broken free. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow, shit. So this is all the the new free state then. Hey, come on. Fight me. Get out of your capital and your mountains. I can't attack you up there, you big bitch. I can't afford this fucking war. They're just going to starve me out. <laughs> this is... Maybe I could white piece them if we're quick. What do you want? <gasps> the KGB are in. They've offered to join us. Oh, what great guys they are. <laughs> white piece? White piece? We can't. It's either enforce demands or surrender. Right, kill those guys. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We're about to go into debt. Oh, we're about to go into debt. Be careful. Ah. Uh, okay, I guess go up here then. Who are we burning? My wife? I'm never burning my wife. Never ask that question. Transistor collapsed? Oh, shit. They're in shambles. The rebellion knocked him out? Wait, was I looking at Yugoslavia? You moron. Transnistria was here, so it's now the kingdom of Ukraine. Hello. That's interesting. Belarus is formed as well. Maybe they were formed before and I just ignored it. Oh, interesting. Oh, the things we can do with that. Ecumenical Patriarch takes over. Of Transnistrian Empire collapsed, the Ecumenical Patriarch historically subservient to the Empire felt a lack of authority. Patriarch needed to take a close... A cl... A cl... <clears throat> Ah, move on. It's not relevant to us. They will all fall to the party. Genius. Verkoslava. Let me get you a name, Verkoslava. Someone sent me a load in Discord earlier. Former KGB head and leader of the USSR. Andropov. Or Andropov. There she is. Holy shit. I mean... Uh, what do you think for education-wise? Uh, duty is always a safe bet. I want to go for the double. Let's see if we can get shrewd and genius. Go for the go for the double gamble, and I'm going to give you to basically whoever is our best genius diplomat at court, Maria, chair lady of the inner party, <laughs> chair lady. Oh, that's so good. Educate my daughter. Oh shit, Vitaly became a renowned physician. Well, that's pretty good. Turns out that hospital wasn't all right investment then. I'm just throwing these troops away in the hopes that I can maybe push a surrender eventually. Um, nope, never get diligent or never lose diligent. Sorry. Come on. Oh! Well, on the plus side, we're not paying for the mercenaries anymore, so we've got that going for us. Ticking war score may carry us over here. We've still got enough troops to siege as well. Oh, the KGB's here. Holy shit, they're actually here. Oh, lads, perfect timing. Surrendering? You bloody better, seeing as he didn't ever leave his capital. Oh, look at this. Oh, shit. We surrender into these terms. We gain 173 loyalty. Vladimir the KGB gains 26.69. He is imprisoned by us. It gives us 440 gold. Orthodox loses 5% moral authority. Stalinist gains 5%. Orthodox get clapped. Only 71% from where we lost uh, Moscow, but that's okay. Wow. And we can ransom that guy out for uh, for even more gold, I would assume. Uh, 250. Can't afford it yet. Well, I very much can't afford it yet. Holy shit, though, huh? What a, what a day. I think we've achieved quite a lot. It, it's it's deceptive because we did end up playing as a crap character, which has slowed us down significantly, but we've done a pretty fucking good job there. And a genius. Lined up for next generation. That alone is worthy of something. I'll never forget you, Gendy. You have you have brought this round together. Now all we've got to do is is take it the way. Thank you to Anastara, Queen Bath Morda, Under the Couch, Commissartage, Crimson, Emily, Retile, Felpy, Require ID, Juice Say that. Sweetsy, and of course, everybody else, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon for making the episode and channel possible in the first place. A big thank you to those guys, and a thank you as well to Thanks for the Loan, Bojo, Sam, Haruni, Flom, Mr. Awesome, Lanath, Alex, Schultz, Lilac, Atreus, Sen, Lady Cerulean, Blue Chaos, Larry the Emu, and everyone else over at Patreon as well for keeping the channel possible. Wow. Let's see, let's see how fast we can tidy this up. Oh, I say tidy this up. See how fast we can get the expansion going. We've got a lot of casters, Bella. It's just a case of getting that snowball going.